This berry is about to embark on one hell of a journey. Once it's picked and packed, it'll make its way to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market, a staple of the LA food scene. Oh my God. Los Angeles is one of the only areas in the country with access to fresh produce grown locally year round. Items here are unique, delicious, and carefully curated. But if you really want to get a sense of how significant this market is to the community, you'll have to talk to its original manager, Laura Avery, AKA my mom. I started as a manager of this market when you were six weeks old. And I have a picture of me holding you and your big sister Avery by the hand in 1982. What are those? Those are the biggest carrots I've ever seen. <laughs> what makes the Santa Monica Farmer's Market unique? from other farmer's markets. If you look around the market, we don't have uh, crafts, we don't do a lot of prepared food. Our focus is constantly on getting the farmers maximum access to as many customers as possible and as many programs as possible to help them promote what they sell. Maybe you could help us. Is it the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? Or the older the berry, the sweeter the juice? I believe sometimes the darker uh -huh. is the sweeter. The Tamai family farm has been in business for almost 100 years. And they, like many other California farmers, rely on the Santa Monica Farmer's Market to sell their produce. Am I heading out to work? Yeah, we're gonna go right to the strawberry field, right up ahead. What goes into the preparation for these farmers? They're constantly dealing with weather. It's either the drought or the rain. Okay, John, you wanna pick it as ripe as you can. Yep. Lay this one. Yep. Got it. Gloria, aren't you amazed? Look how many berries I've already picked. Oh my God. I've only eaten about half as many as I've picked. The average one-way trip of a farmer to get down to LA from the farm is about 175 miles. So these farmers are getting up at two in the morning, driving down, setting up their stands, and they're bringing in produce that they basically picked yesterday. All right, how's, how's my form, good? Do I look like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> All right. So when it gets here, it hasn't been stored, it hasn't been refrigerated, it hasn't been treated with any kind of preservative. It's picked off the tree or the vine and it's ready to eat. Take a bite. Just, huh. we're allowed to do this. We got clearance in. I call it quality control. Yes, part of my job. New trends in food, I feel like they, a lot of them come out and originate in LA. One of the things that I do remember is the slow food movement that started in Santa Monica. They named it slow food because everyone was used to fast food. And they said, well, we need to slow down and look at what we're eating. I think that really gave a boost to the Los Angeles area and to the farmer's markets. I think we're attracting the very best of the chefs who are able to now really let their creativity run wild and they can have access to pretty much anything they want. It's kind of like a big chef's playground down yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. And one of those chefs who loves to play is Nancy Silverton, a culinary legend who has embraced and pioneered the slow food movement here in California. The legend of Nancy used to come here with $3,000 in cash in a pickup truck by the farmers at a house and home and you would then use all that produce to make a fabulous dish and a fabulous menu at one of your restaurants. Yes. Is that true? Uh, it is true. I think that I, you know, recognized very early on in my career the importance of great produce in being the inspiration for creating a dish. Listen, when Nancy hands you lemons, you make a, what dish are you making? We are gonna be making a lemon posset. When Nancy hands you a lemon, you make a lemon posset. <laughs> so then, does the produce drive the menu, or does the menu drive what produce you're looking for? No, the produce always comes first. Always. Ready to get to work? Do you remember the name of the dessert? It's a lemon posset. Posset. It's lemon, cream, and sugar strawberries and balsamic, five ingredients. When you have so few ingredients, you can't hide behind flavorless food or a gimmick or a complicated technique. 
it better taste good, right? The ingredients are the that's star. That's all we have. Some people used to think of us in California as sort of the lazy cooks because mm -hmm. there's so little that we have to do because we're so spoiled by the produce that we have. And it's not just that we have it for one season, but we have it all year round. I think a lot of people just take for granted the amount of steps and the process and the preparation that goes into bringing food from the farm to the table. Yum. We nailed it.